In this presentation, we're going to be looking at some of the improvements that have been made to the bullet physics engine inside of Maya. The first example that we're going to look at is the ability to create compound collision objects. So we've got two towers here. One of them's um, just individual objects, and the other one has been grouped together into compounds, or objects that basically have multiple objects underneath a group node. And what we want to do is run physics on both sets of towers to see the difference. So we'll go ahead and we'll create a new active rigid body. We'll turn on hide shape, which is also new in 2014. So we'll apply that guy. And now we're going to grab our hierarchies, our arc set the collision type to compound. We'll go ahead and we'll apply that. We'll finish off by creating one more passive object in our scene. So this is going to be a plane. It's going to be a static object. So we'll go ahead and we'll create that collision plane. So if we go to the bullet solver, we'll just increase the refresh rate a little bit on that guy. And if we play this back, you'll see that we have very different simulations. So the compound objects obviously are going to solve as though they're one object. And the thing that's kind of nice about this is I can go inside of here and start to make changes or tweaks to these guys. So I could, you know, maybe push this guy over this way, maybe push this guy over this way. If we play it back, it's still going to behave, you know, kind of the way you'd expect. They're going to come down, they're going to collide with the ground, they're going to interact and do exactly what you'd expect them to do. So the next example that we want to look at is the ability to use Maya's field in conjunction with Bullet. So this opens up a ton of possibilities. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a twister effect. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to grab all of these objects right here. We're going to create some um, rigid bodies from those. So we'll go up here to our bullet object. We'll just reset this and we'll hide that. So now we have a pretty big amount of objects in our scene that we want to simulate. And what we're going to do is we're going to say, you know what? On the bullet solver, we're not concerned about using the built-in dot gravity. We're going to use the Maya field. So as soon as we do that, we're going to have to start adding in a couple fields to make the stuff drop to the ground. So we're going to add in a Maya gravity. So now if we play this back, obviously it's going to look pretty similar to the first simulation that we had. Obviously the gravity kind of comes in here, kicks on, everything sort of drops around. Now if you look in my scene, you'll notice that I've actually got a pretty cool little simulation already set up using Maya field. So if we jump to wireframe mode, you can see that I have this volume axis inside of here that's got a lot of radial twist inside of it. I've also got a curve that's being used to modify the shape of this volume axis that I turned into an in hair. So we're going to basically create a tornado effect by moving this in hair around and that volume axis is going to chase the dynamic hair. So if we go ahead and we display our curves, you can go and see that sort of in hair that's running down the middle there. So let's go back to our shaded mode and we'll grab all of our objects here and we're going to add those into that volume axis. So we'll grab all these objects right here as well as all of those guys. And we'll finish off by grabbing the compounds. The last thing we're going to do is grab our field, and we're going to say fields affects selected objects. So as soon as we do that, if we play this back, the mass on those guys is going to be pretty low. So they're just going to get blown away by that tornado really pretty quickly. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the mass on all of these objects so that it sort of hangs out a little bit better inside of that guy. So we'll bring up the attributes for these guys. Do this over here in the channel box, and we'll put it up to something like 50. We can give it a little bit of dampening too, why not? So now that we've done that, let's go ahead and do the same thing for these guys. We'll make their mass even heavier. We'll make them like 100. So we can clean up our display a little bit here, go to full screen. We'll select the bottom of that in hair. We'll go into interactive playback mode. So you can see that twister just sucked those guys right up. And as I start to move this around, you can kind of see that sort of dynamic simulation happening on that twister. And this is really cool, the ability to add all these dynamic effects on top of each other and have Maya's physics working with the bullet engine, Maya's native physics working with the bullet engine is really pretty amazing. So that's just a couple of examples of some of the new functionality that's been added into the bullet physics engine inside of the extension release of Maya 2014.